An unprecedented courtroom showdown this week when embattled district attorney Susan Hawk meets face to face with a woman who wants her out of office. Fox 4 Sean Rabb reports some of the evidence against Hawk comes from people who are at one time her closest allies. This is the empty courtroom now that will likely be filled to overflow Friday for the first hearing in former district attorney employee Cindy Stormer's effort to get elected DA Susan Hawk out. First of all, this is a very strange case that, that, that is, I don't think it's ever been done this way in this state. Stormer seeks to have Hawk ousted, blaming incompetency, dereliction of duty, and past drug abuse and mental health issues that Hawk's admitted to as reasons for her removal. Ellis County DA Patrick Wilson, the special prosecutor, filed what's called an amended petition where he asked the court to temporarily remove Hawk from her post. They will use the amended petition to support their grounds. They will use the affidavits as evidence. From former employees who question Hawk's mental stability, including her hand-picked former first assistant Bill Wersky. Mr. Wersky is, is somewhat of a giant as a Texas prosecutor. He just is. Meaning words in Worski's affidavit will carry weight. An affidavit with statements like, It is my belief that her incompetency was due to severe mental illness and or substance abuse characterized by delusional paranoia, limited cognitive ability, and ultimately a complete break from reality. That evidence, though, has had no cross-examination. It is under oath, but it has not been challenged or questioned by the defense in this matter. So we've heard, heard only one side. Only one side. And that's typical in a case like this. Visiting Judge David Peoples from San Antonio will hear the arguments. He tells me he'll allow cameras in the courtroom only before proceedings begin. He expects the hearing to last about two hours and has no timetable on when he might rule. The evidence against Susan Hawk has to meet a high standard. Could a rational jury use that evidence and remove her from office. Is that the question that Judge David Peoples will try to answer in his mind? That is the question he will have to answer in his mind, yes. And that's not easy. No, it's not easy. Okay, so let's move through a, quick, a couple quick things. Yes. All this judge needs to decide is if it should move on to a jury trial type of scenario. Right. Okay. That's all he needs to decide to begin with. Simple. Affidavits filed. We've heard some of the statements in those affidavits. Uh, you can't cross-examine an, aff an affidavit. Do we expect Worski and others to be in court to get cross-examined? So, so here's what. Whatever's in an affidavit, that type of court pleading, it is assumed on its face to be true until it comes under scrutiny in the courtroom, i.e. cross-examination. I don't think, expect to see Bill Worski or those folk on Friday. I do think we'll see Cindy Stormer in court and who could likely it. hear from her. She is the former employee who started this, yes. Now, what will happen is the judge will have that evidence presented to him via submission, most likely. Mm -hmm. Here's the documents, consider them. He will ask some questions. Both sides will speak. I don't think we'll hear from Susan Hawk either, but we will hear from the attorneys for Ms. Hawk as well. And then the judge will have two rulings to make. One, does he grant the temporary restraining order, putting her out of office now until the trial goes forward? And then the other decision he'll have to make is, is the evidence strong enough to go forward to trial? I don't know if this came up in your interview, but I'm curious. Worski's affidavit sounds like past tense stuff to me. Which is one of the things that's significant. To get the temporary restraining order, what you're saying is that there is current detriment if she stays in that position. And that's going to be hard to prove based on past actions alone. Okay. All right. Sean Rabb, Friday will be interesting. Yes, sir. I know that. Thank you very much. All right.